Lesson 1. A Short History of Money Welcome to our course on crypto investment. In the first chapter, we'll discuss the basics of cryptocurrencies and the technology that underpins them. Blockchain. Before we dive into this, let's get some context. In this first lesson, we'll look at how the concept of money has changed over time. In fact, we'll see that cryptocurrency is part of the natural evolution of money. Crypto, in its essence, was a response to the gaps in people's needs. Money has come a long way. Over 10,000 years ago, people realized that in order to prosper, they needed to engage and trade with others. So they started to exchange whatever they were good at making for something that they couldn't make or otherwise get themselves. Barter then gave way to precious metals, with gold and silver bars being used in Egypt and Mesopotamia around 4000 BC. The oldest coin currency known to us is a Sumerian bronze piece dating back to 3000 BC. Precious metals remain a symbol of prosperity to this day, but they were hardly convenient to trade with. And that's why China's Tang and Song dynasties introduced the world's first banknotes, taking their roots as far back as the 7th century. Nonetheless, most currencies remain tied to the value of precious commodities throughout most of history. This is referred to as the gold standard. The idea was to minimize instability and keep inflation under control with a limited supply of money. The gold standard has been abandoned on several occasions, most notably in 1971 when the mounting economic pressure led Richard Nixon to drop the gold standard for the last time. Currently, it is not used by any country. This led to the emergence of fiat currencies. Their value is not supported by any asset and central banks are in full control of money supply. Undeniably, this was key to the unprecedented economic growth of the second half of the 20th century, but it also made the financial systems much more susceptible to bubbles and crises. With the rise of the internet, the notion of financial convenience graduated to a whole new level. Online banking and digital transactions are defining consumer expectations with regards to how money should work. At the same time, this created brand new security challenges and gave new powers to financial intermediaries. This takes us to 2008 and the creation of Bitcoin, which we'll discuss in the next lesson. But it's worth thinking about everything that came before it, as to appreciate the significance and gravitas of cryptocurrency. The history of money can be seen as an evolutionary sequence. Each step is a response to the limitations of the pre-existing solutions and is underpinned by technological and societal developments of that age. Cryptocurrency is a next organic step, no matter how revolutionary it seems. With the historical context in mind, it can be argued that the appeal of a medium of exchange can be defined by four key factors. Divisibility, durability, transferability, and non-counterfeitability. The shift from barter to currency dramatically improved the visibility and durability of the exchange medium. A cow farmer, for example, can't sell a third of a cow to buy two dozen eggs. Neither can they sell a cow that is too old or hadn't been taken care of. Currency solved these inconveniences and the digital technology further enhanced the visibility and durability. Transferability and non-counterfeitability of money have also been improved drastically over time. You don't need to seek a seller of exactly what you need who's looking to buy exactly what you have. Currency is easily transferable. With time, the security of money, both physical and digital, have also seen substantial leaps forward. And yet, there are some glaring issues. Digital technologies created the perception of seamless direct transactions but in fact, online payments are highly dependent on the central authority, such as a bank or payment platform. Not only does this give them disproportionate power, but makes the money susceptible to external threats. So to sum up, the world has come a long way to create an optimal medium of exchange. We are now in the place where we're seeking more reliable, secure and private ways to transact with one another. More on that in Lesson 2.